Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Vision Intention Strategy, your social work mentor with the new Social Worker Magazine. My name is Dr. Veronica Hardy, and I would be completely remiss if I didn't take a moment to simply congratulate our 2022 social work graduates at all degree levels, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral. We are so proud of you here at the new Social Worker Magazine. Now, now, I know this is a time of celebration, a time of relaxation, as well as a time of preparation. So as you enter into such a diverse career field, I have a few post-graduation suggestions to share with you. And that first suggestion is to stay connected. Throughout your program, this was basically manufactured for you through your classes, through your field placements, through your interactions with your professors and other activities that you may have attended. So now it's time for you to take charge and take the reins in staying connected. What are ways you can go about doing that? You can exchange information with your classmates and then seek to stay in touch with them along their career journey. You could also seek to stay in touch with your professors. They have been with you on this journey and it would be great for you to keep them updated on the next steps you have taken in your process. Also, this is a great way to engage in continued mentorship from your professors. Another way to certainly stay connected is to attend conferences, symposiums, and other continuing education opportunities to build your network of social workers. There are many sites where you can stay updated about contemporary social work practice and issues that are taking place where social workers are definitely needed. For example, you could visit the National Association of Social Workers website. You can visit the latest updated articles and videos offered through the new Social Worker magazine. So all of these ways are tips for you to stay connected. Now, hopefully, you will take some time to relax. That's my next suggestion, my next tip, relaxation. Now you may have noticed in the 2021 amendments to the NASW Code of Ethics, there was a spotlight placed on self-care. Now for self-care, we certainly need to be intentional. Intentional about integrating it into our personal lives, into our workspaces, and considering what steps can we take in order to do so. So being intentional about relaxing and engaging in other forms of self-care to help you reset and be fully present throughout your social work career. Another tip is to also remember when it comes to self-care, engage in discussions with your employer about what self-care may look like in the workplace. Now, my third and final tip is to be open. I often say that a social work degree is one of the most diverse degrees that I'm familiar with. Therefore, there are many avenues that you could take within the social work field. I recently conducted a video interview with fellow social worker Shakita Torres. And if you have time to tune into her interview, you will see the multiple ways she is using her degree. She is an entrepreneur, meaning she has a private practice. She also facilitates a nonprofit. She is an author of a number one international best-selling book where she has penned one of those book chapters focusing on trauma. She is a course creator and an advocate against human trafficking. This provides such a great example about someone with a social work degree who is open to using it for multiple opportunities, engaging in advocacy, and being a voice and supporting others who may be experiencing trauma. So be open. Be open to the various ways that your degree can be valuable in contributing to this society. Now, just in closing, like I started, I have to say congratulations to all of our 2022 graduates. And remember that our theme for this year was the time is right for social work. The time is right for you. Stay connected, take time to relax, and be open to the many opportunities that are available.